How's it going guys? Um, this is going to be part two to my CD collection, so we'll just uh, can pick up where we left off last time. Um, this is going to be Agalock with White Division Gray. Um, this is a two EP compilation um, that includes uh, the Gray EP on one CD and the White EP on another CD. Yeah, so it comes with a cool booklet on the inside with some pretty cool artwork and such. So yeah, um, if you've never heard these EPs, um, The Gray came out uh, two years before Ashes Against the Grain, and The White came out uh, two years after. Um, so yeah, The Gray is a two-song EP that uh, it's really rooted in like Drone and uh, Doom with uh, a lot of post-rock influence on it, so uh, just really experimental, um, even for Agalock. Um, and then the White EP is a really like dark folk uh, ambient album, so um, neither of them are really metal, but it definitely still sounds like Agalock. Um, I think the White EP has a really similar feel to the Mantle. So, um, I mean, if you like Agalock, um, I, I think you're definitely going to like this, so you should check this out if you haven't heard it before. Because um, I, I don't think, I don't hear a lot of people talk about these EPs, or this release in general, so... Um, yeah, I definitely think you should check it out, though. It's really good stuff, and uh, definitely worth picking up this uh, compilation CD if you don't have it. Um, next up, I've got uh, Faustian Echoes. This is another EP by Agalock. Uh, this one came out right after uh, Mare of the Spirit. Um, this one is actually just uh, one song. It's a one 20 minute song EP. Let's see if you can see the artwork on the inside. So yeah, it's uh, just one song. And it's, it's all based on the story uh, Faust by Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. So, um, I definitely think uh, this release is Agalock's like most darkest, like just darkest uh, music that they released in general. So I uh, definitely check this out. Really good stuff. Um, next up, I've got their uh, full-length Marrow of the Spirit, um, one of my favorite Agalock releases. Some really nice artwork, and you can kind of see the uh, spot gloss logo on there. I don't know if you, the camera's picking it up. There it is. Yeah, really nice artwork. Uh, this one comes in a really nice digi pack. Um, so yeah, um, just a really killer release by Egalock. Um One of my favorites. My favorite song off this one is definitely uh, Black Lake Nidsting. Um, and then Into the Painted Gray and Ghosts of the Midwinter Fires aren't couple of my favorites. So yeah, check this one out if you haven't. It's uh, one of Agalock's best. Alright, next up uh, I've got The Serpent and the Sphere by Agalock. Um, this is their most recent and uh, their last release unfortunately before they disbanded. Um, so yeah, this one's just a really good album too. I mean, I think it got kind of mixed reviews but I think it's a really good album. So, um, yeah, if you haven't heard this, definitely check it out if you're into Agalock whatsoever. Um, the final track on here, um, Plateau of the Ages, it's actually not the final track, but it's like the, the second to last track. Um, the last one, the last track is just like a little ending interlude, but uh, yeah, Plateau of the Ages, just a freaking awesome instrumental song. Um, and the Astral Dialogue, um, some of the heaviest stuff that I've heard Agalock do. So, yeah, Serpent of the Sphere, check it out if you've never heard it. Um, next up, got Agent Steel with Skeptic's Apocalypse. Uh, really good, really good album. Uh, just killer speed thrash metal from the 80s. I really like the back where there's like a UFO in the background. That's kind of their whole theme. Agent Steel's like really into like um, aliens and stuff. 
yeah, classic stuff. Have you ever heard it? Go listen to uh, Back to Rain or the title track Agents of Steel. Not the title track, but the, uh, you know what I mean. Check that out if you haven't. Um, and then next up, another one of my favorite bands. This is Elcest with their first album, uh, Souvenirs de Something. I don't want to butcher the title, but just a freaking awesome debut by uh, Elcest. Probably, I would say this is my second favorite album by them. After uh, The Size de Lune, or however you want to pronounce it, which is the next CD I have to show. This is their uh, second full length and my favorite Elcest album. But I kind of ha have this feeling that it's everybody's favorite Elcest album, it seems like. But uh, rightfully so, because it's a freaking just a killer, perfect album, uh, in my opinion. All right. Um, next up, we've got Elcest again with uh, Le Secret. This one is a uh, it's an EP, but it actually includes two versions of it. Um, it has the original recording, which is from 2011, or sorry, 2005, and then it's got a re-recording of the same two-song EP recorded in 2011. So yeah, it comes in this uh, nice digi book. Uh, this is actually the original artwork that came on the first uh, release, when it was first released. Some uh, lyrics and uh, pictures and stuff on the inside. And then we've got the actual CD in there. Uh, floating, floating in this cardboard sleeve. Yeah, I really like the packaging on this, so it's a cool uh, digi book. And then it has this like slip case that it goes into. But uh, Prophecy, or I think it's Prophecy, yeah. That record label, they always have pretty cool packaging. They're the ones that did the uh, the cassette reissues for LSS too. All right, moving on to a real classic here. Uh, this is Alice in Chains with Dirt. Um, this is one of my all-time favorite albums. It's just, I'm sure you've heard it before. Um, if you haven't, you're definitely missing out because this album is just one of the greatest pieces of music and rock music in my opinion. That's the back. So yeah, this is their uh, second full length. Um, just classic stuff. Go check it out if you've never heard it before. One of my favorite albums. Um, next up we've got Alice in Chains Unplugged. Um, before I got this I didn't think I was going to like it as much as I do just because I thought the whole Unplugged thing was kind of like a gimmick in the 90s. Um, with a lot of, especially like the grunge bands and just rock bands in general. But um, this is just a really good set. They play pretty much all their best songs and uh, yeah, it's awesome. I think uh, the intro track, uh, Nutshell, the first track they play on here, it's a really good version. I think I like the, uh, the unplugged version better than the original. So yeah, check this one out if you haven't. Go to Alice in Chains. Um, next up we've got Amana Marth with Versus the World. Um, I think this is their second full length album I want to say. Maybe I'm mistaken. Didn't check. But um, yeah, really good melodic death metal. I'm sure everybody's familiar with Amana Marth. Um, really good album. So yeah, check that out if you haven't. Um, and then last for this video, I've got another Monomarth CD. This is Deceiver of the Gods. Uh, this comes in a uh, like a box set type of deal. So on the inside, we've got the album itself. Let's see. There we go. So you got the uh, digi pack here.
I think the artwork's freaking killer on this album. Um, and then the second CD is like, uh, it's just, it's four bonus tracks. And if you could see, like, it's their logo in the style of classic bands, like the top one, it looks like Motorhead, Judas Priest, uh, ACDC and Black Sabbath. So yeah, each of these songs kind of have those styles in them. So pretty cool. Um, this album, it's pretty good. Um, not one of my favorites. Um, I think it's just kind of average. I think there are some good songs in here, but I think there's also a lot of filler on it, um, which I guess can be said for a lot of them on Amarth's albums. I'm not, a, I'm not the biggest Amon Amarth fan. Um, so yeah. But um, anyways, um, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Um, feel free to uh, comment or whatnot uh, on your opinions on any, any of this stuff. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, until next time.